crispy. It's collection update time. And welcome back to another episode of Figures in Action. Been wanting to do a uh, collection update video for a little bit as uh, my collection in the last, I don't know, six to eight months, maybe a little more, has drastically changed. I shouldn't say drastically changed. A lot of pieces have been removed and some pieces have been added. A bunch of pieces, but just newer pieces, nothing, uh, nothing that was out there <clears throat> for a while. All right, so let's begin. So first and foremost, uh, Marvel Legends uh, are my favorite line to collect. And it's actually kind of the only line I'm collecting these days. There was a time maybe three, four years ago, five years ago, where my collection was, was pretty big, man. I had uh, trans, uh, Transformers Masterpiece, uh, a bunch of those. I had Star Wars Black Figure. I had just a bunch of... Uh, you know lines that i enjoyed but it got to the point where it was just too much and i was just kind of carried of tiring the uh, excuse me tired of carrying the weight and not only that but like like this wall right here this is like my dial stuff like this is <laughs> this is all dial and or props and, and and such so that's a lot already so on top of that to carry uh hundreds of action figures i just figured it was time to kind of uh, let that go. So anyway, so let's go. Uh, I'm gonna open these guys up so we can go shelf by shelf real quick. Nothing. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on it trying to make this video uh, 10 to 12 minutes. But anyway, this uh, upper level here is mostly Avengers and then kind of the the gods, I guess. Uh, Loki uh, and Better Ray Bill are two of the newer ones, and Unworthy Thor, uh, three of the newer ones that I've uh, received. Although Better Ray is not officially a god per se uh i still clumped them in there and then here we have uh some of the other avengers trimmed down on those and actually sold uh so a lot of the toy biz ones um from this shelf as, as well as this shelf had a bunch of iron man uh iron man armors and uh sold most of them i uh, just kept kind of that original gold one i mean the original one was silver i like the gold one but kept that toy biz one and then kept uh, one of my favorite marvel legends iron man Iron Man figures, uh, and then uh, yeah, just a regular uh, shield and, and cap. This is one of the few uh, figures that I still have that was a custom figure. This was before they had a full a Phil Coulson out, so my boy Aaron Williams uh, was able to hook this up for me. I actually like this head sculpt better than the uh, Marvel Legends Phil Coulson head sculpt. And then down here we have uh, kind of the street level guys, I guess. Uh, Daredevil. Daredevil's probably one of my top three favorite uh, guys of all time. I still have, this is still uh, one of my favorite Daredevil action figures. That's another Aaron Williams creation where he took uh, kind of that Daredevil there in the middle. And beat him up a couple tears uh in his uniform a little bit of blood but i've uh, been a daredevil fan for a long time and then over here we have a couple of spider-man uh figures and then i'm a moon knight fan i'm actually a moon knight and a thing fan been a fan of those guys for a long time so when they announced the moon knight series i was pretty excited about it uh and i'm very happy that uh the mcu finally has the first family of marvel back in tow then down here this is more of I don't know, it's a combination. It's a uh, cosmic uh, beings, you know, gladiator and and uh, you know some of these guys that are more Nova. They're more from uh, from outer space, or I guess. And then some of the baddies, some of uh, Spidey's baddies, as well as um, Hail Hydra. Uh, so I still think this is still one of my favorite baths. This little guy right here, Zola, Armin Zola. All right, so this is, uh, I only have two D-Tops, and that's one of them, and then this is the other one. I'm actually excited for uh, for what's happening over here in this D-Top. So X-Men are finally making a comeback in terms of Legends. I mean, Legends have been, Marvel Legends have been uh, releasing a lot of X-Men figures lately, and I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, my first, like, when I really, I've always loved comics, so one of my first comic uh comics that i picked up was when secret wars i'm talking about in the 80s was happening 
when uh the black costume P spidey you know had happened when he got the symbiote from from another planet the beyonder was kind of the main bad guy and then so i collected for some years put it down for a little bit then when i started collecting again it was when new mutants became x-force the original x-force that they had cable and cannonball and shadow star and uh that was uh warpath and and domino that was like my first you know that's when i really started to love comics in terms of or i was an adult and got into comics so now i can go and buy my own shit like my mom didn't have to go with me uh as it was back when i was first collecting comic books when i was just uh 11 12 years old uh but yeah man it's been really good to get uh to get the x-men kind of uh back man just to kind of get them back not only into the mcu in terms of the movies but now marvel's gonna show these guys more love and i'm, I'm pretty excited about it so that's kind of the top shelf there uh this is more like the x-force uh type shelf some uh, wolverines and deadpool and then we have a uh, old man logan by mesco it's one of my favorite figures there actually got it as a gift uh from work some of the people that worked there gave me a, a gift card and i was able to grab that so i'm happy and then i was in rhode island i forgot what for me and joanne were there and uh went to a comic book store that they had yo he had a brand new case of lord of the rings horses like the horses that came with the figures like brand new like he just opened it up in front of me i'm like these figures are from like the 90s or the, it was wild it was wild but anyway i was very happy to get that horse so i can put my old man logan on it then here we have uh some of the aim some aim guys and then uh some of the kind of x-men bad guys in the background uh just got that sinister not too long ago finally completed that build a figure there sauron looks amazing as a build a figure uh yeah so i got some of these the wrecking crew and in the bottom it's just random random bad guys we have uh a couple build a figures there some of the older ones and uh, uh definitely happy with with uh, how that shelf of bad guys are looking. So yeah, man, I only have two detolfs, so I I really try to keep it to two detolfs. Um, some figures I just don't open, so no, I shouldn't say that. Some figures I haven't opened yet. So uh, these three guys are from the 80th uh, anniversary. That particular cap is is kind of special to me, man, because the first time I got into Marvel, or the first time I bought a Marvel Legends figure was actually literally this this captain america was the first one i ever got and after that i got toad and i got you know as they came out i would grab them so to see this captain america and then years later to see them kind of uh redo it uh you know much better uh buck and and colors and and articulation it was really cool uh to get that that was a walmart exclusive i was not able to find it on my own somebody had to find it for me so i bought it off of someone on instagram which sucks because you have to pay for shipping and all that yeah i can't stand that that's uh, again <clears throat> my favorite uh uh current iron man marvel Legends iron man but that's the stealth version which was really cool i'm glad i got that one over here is just a lot of uh except for the top two up there which are just two deadpools uh which I'm, I'm actually been meaning to open that one and put them with the uh with my x-force team but uh mostly most of this anyway is just um exclusive so we got a uh, walmart thanos exclusive and a uh, infamous iron man from walgreens and we have uh, emma frost that was also walgreens and the toys r us Groot, and those two aren't exclusive but i just haven't opened them yet uh then we here we have a silver surfer and then we have punisher the new uh, 80th anniversary camel punisher is kind of the background there then up here we have uh mr fantastic again walgreens sue storm walgreens uh human torch walgreens and we have another walmart exclusive in that uh black panther with the uh purple uh extras i guess <laughs> um then up here we have a bunch of box sets uh first and foremost i was very happy to find that storm out in the wild i really don't like i like to go for the hunt of figures you know and it, it, it yes you spend a little more gas but you get out there and it's all good and then you find it and it feels good versus getting out of line i mean i've done that if i have no other choice but i'd prefer to not do that but here we have i just grabbed this guy the other day uh spidey and craven two pack i definitely like that craven better than the one that was released earlier a couple more exclusives up here well not not the i don't think that one's exclusive but the mystique is we got the uh, love triangle pack and we have uh havoc and polaris and 
a couple more sluices. I have that Danny Moon Star. I also have another one there that I, I'm going to open at some point. We have an old school uh, Toy Biz Kang the Conqueror, who's going to be, who's I feel is going to play a big part in the MCU at some point. And just some other box sets. Uh, Falcon is Captain America. I still I still think that's a pretty good Hulk figure. We have Scarlet Witch there with her, uh, excuse me. I, 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 I always call her Scarlet Witch because her name is Scarlet Johansson, the actress anyway. But we have Black Widow with her bike. Uh, Toys R Us exclusive there. Some of the um, Hydra Soldiers. Some of the few uh, SH Figure Arts Marvels that I have. That was actually a DVD box uh, came with a, with the DVD movie, the the Hulk movie or whatever it was. So that was kind of cool. Old school Toy Fair, uh, Daredevil there, and uh, just some other stuff. I, I not that I collect, but just some other stuff that I keep. I have a Dave Robinson favorite player of all time, basketball player of all time. We have the King, Aragorn, Azog, and then some of the you know some other stuff that I've collected over the years. And I Roberto Clemente, one of the greatest Puerto Rican baseball players of all time. Uh, yeah, man, so pretty much this is what the collection is looking like. Uh, very happy. I've sold a lot of uh, toy biz and older figures or figures that I just don't see myself using an action figure photographer. I wasn't a big fan of them. Uh, this is another little section of stuff uh, that I collect. Or not that I collect, but that I have. Um, I love, this was a, a present, man. I love this Indiana Jones. Love that link. This figure is pretty dope have three Mescos, four Mescos now with the Gomez. Uh, definitely enjoy those two of the SH figure art Bruce Lee's and then um, the articulate icons, Storm Shadow, Old Man Storm Shadow is what I call them. Here's some shirts. I used to actually have a t-shirt company. All right, man. So just wanted to share that with you guys and I am out. Peace.